as our final say. Acts chapter 12 gives an account of how God miraculously delivered Peter from Herod's evil plans. We read in verses 6 to 7, the night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with the two chains and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrists. How did Peter manage to have such peace as to fall into deep sleep, fully aware of Herod's evil plans for retention? Herod had just put Peter to death, James to death, and Peter was next on the list. Peter's peace, no doubt, was as a result of his faith in God's power and ability. Peter trusted God to control the outcome of his circumstances and fully surrendered to the Almighty God. Indeed, his miraculous deliverance from prison and Herod's pathetic end as we see it in verse 23 and the, the flourishing of God's word is a testimony that God indeed is always in control. Who is your Herod or what is your Herod is this season? As we go through the week, may God help us to look beyond our circumstances and allow faith and trust in God to replace our fears, our worries, our doubt, and our disbelief. Remember, God only has the final say. Shalom. Peter.